Hello photography fans and welcome back to another LensVid review. Today we're taking a look at a quick action carbon fiber tripod and fluid head by YC Onion. Stick around to see what they can do. We've been working with YC Onion products for some years now. They're always innovative and well made. We reviewed their Panetta monopod in June 2023 and today we're showing you the Panetta Peak carbon fiber tripod. The Panetta Peak is a beefy tripod with an innovative quick deployment latch design that allows to open and lock all three sections of the leg in one activation. This is a 75mm bowl compatible tripod that comes in multiple kits that can include a quick replacement level and bowl head, swappable with a center column plus a fluid head. YC Onion ships this tripod on a padded carrying bag with a set of spikes, stub feet and universal feet, allen keys and two mountain hole adapters. Ours is the full kit with a level in head, a fluid head and a center column. The Panetta Peak is a pretty beefy tripod that weighs 3.5 kilos. These are three section legs that are controlled by big aluminum clasps at the top. These locks are rated for 35 kilos of payload, but this weight is limited by the head and the center column that the rig is mounted on. These locks are really nice. They're solid aluminum. One thing you have to make sure is to keep them open all the way when you're extending the legs or retracting them. It's really nice that they put the locks on top here because you can hold on to the rig on the tripod and not have to bend down to close or open the legs of the tripod. One thing we feel this is missing is a fail safe on here like they have on the, on the monopod version. There's also a rubberized handle at the top of the tripod for ease of placement. It's not great for carrying the tripod when folded down since it's still heavier in the back. If you carry it with the rig on, it's probably more balanced, but we wouldn't suggest doing that. The tripod base features a quarter inch and three eighths mounting holes with locating pins. There's no shortage of bubble levels here. There's one on the tripod base, on the leveling head and on the fluid head. You can control how wide the tripod goes with these metal pull tabs. Just open that up and in its widest setting it goes to 82 degrees, which puts the tripod at only 16 centimeters off the ground, which is really low. And then these locks are semi-automatic. Once they're in this open position, they just click back into place, which is really nice. They also have these buttons to lock the legs. Once it's in the folded position, you can lock it. It allows you to carry the tripod without the legs opening. The feet are replaceable and the kit comes with articulating feet and rubber stubs that can be replaced with spikes. These are the biggest spikes that I've ever seen on a tripod. And when I traveled with this thing, it took the security personnel at the airport a long while to decide whether to let the spikes on the plane. The base here on the sticks is a bowl, which is compatible with any 75 millimeter bowl head, but it's really hard to beat this YC Onion coconut bowl because it's a very quick install. It doesn't have the regular handle on the bottom, which means that it you can get lower to the ground. And it's just a quick thread like this, and it has this lever to lock it up. It's very sturdy. You can actually add some extra friction on here. The only thing is this thumb screw that goes on the bottom to tighten the bowl. It has this micro etching on it, and it should have been a, a more pronounced texture. Maybe something like this would have made it easier to tighten. The bowl features a leveling mechanism to use without a fluid head for photography or locked off video. When a fluid head is needed, this base comes with two lock-in screws to secure the payload. The fluid head that YC Onion includes with this kit is the FH75. It features a lightweight hollow design and fluid tilt and pan, but without counterbalance and drag. The control handle folds down to 23 centimeters and can be extended to 35 centimeters. The extension lock is a barrel design that could have easily been a clasp. The camera base has a couple of nice add-ons. There's a nice little magnetic stash here for an Allen key. That always comes in handy. And then you also have you can choose between a standard Manfrotto plate or a gimbal plate for RS2, RS3. There's a couple of buttons here for that. In all, it's a nicely designed and a well-built head, but it's a little too small for this kit. The sticks can hold a lot more payload, so a smaller head kind of defeats the purpose. 
Also, since the head can hold a payload of 10 kilos, which is kind of a big rig, it needs big head features like counterbalancing and drag control. And the same goes for the center column, which is also rated for a way lighter payload than the sticks. But if the weight isn't an issue, it's a great addition that can raise the camera to 2 meters and allows for inverted low angle shots. The center column comes with a flat base and a 3 8 mounting screw to connect your camera or the fluid head. For some reason, there's only one lock and screw on the base. The center column has a couple of locks on it. This one locks it in place. And this one controls the height. It's not dampened in any way, so you kind of have to watch it so your rig doesn't fall. And then once you extend it all the way, the lock doesn't work because it needs something to hold on to. So you're going to have to drop it just a few centimeters. But even so, fully extended like this, it has a little bit of a wobble. Ideally, you kind of have to drop it just a little bit below the base. And then this placement lock, it doesn't have a fail safe. So with the column extended fully, and it has nothing to hold on to, if this were to loosen, then the whole thing falls. Uh, I would have preferred some kind of a snap latch here for reassurance. Also red. Yellow, orange, I don't know, some kind of a different color would be good. Even though the bowl head sets up very quickly, there's still no easy way to change the fluid head between the bowl head and the center column. Optionally, YC Onion sells a quick release base that's not part of this kit, but it could be a very useful addition. Altogether, the whole kit really works great. The legs are sturdy, the head features a drop in lock design with stoppers. It can also tilt 90 degrees for vertical shots and the level and bowl head is really a useful addition. In conclusion, YC Onion made a strong and easy to deploy tripod. It's versatile for photo and video and comes with interest and accessories that make it pretty modular. There are a few things that we would change, but these are easy fixes that YC Onion can add on in the future together with a more advanced fluid head for bigger rigs. As for pricing, the full carbon fiber Panetta Peak kit sells for $980 and the simple kit with the bowl head costs 700 And that is it for our review of the YC Onion Panetta Peak tripod and fluid head. Go check out the full review on our website at lensvid.com. Subscribe to this channel and come back for more videos. Come back, you hear? We'll see you in the next one. Hello, Quick action. Quick action. We've been working with YC onions for. <laughs> yeah, we got plenty of onions here in the studio. This kind of reminds me of a mace. Top heavy, sturdy, pointy. It'd really do some damage. Or not. Not that I'm advertising it. Subscribe.